Morning everybody, Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader here from Mr. Top Step with your Thursday morning pre-market webcast. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of getting a 10 handle range here. The 1363 level, which was the support level from Tuesday's trade that the bears had a tough time getting through before they broke is holding up as, uh, as resistance uh, through yesterday's trade and through the overnight trade. The, the 1353 level, which is my nine day pivot today, which um, was the low area from yesterday's trade, has held up as support in the overnight range. So basically we were in a 10 handle range. Uh, we've been trading in there and through the overnight trade, it's pretty much been from 1362 to 1355. The current trade is uh, 1357 even. And I'm taping this at about 735. Uh, East Coast time. Uh, so as it stands right now, we're kind of in the middle of this range. There's no real trade. I would wait for price to come up to the upper or the lower boundary and then one of two things will happen. It will fail and it becomes a fade or we're going to break out or break down and it's my uh, feeling that if we break out, you'll see some buying momentum come in. If we break down, I think the selling will pick up. So we're, we're really in wait and see mode. Uh, don't forget we have jobless claims at 8.30. Uh, we'll see if uh, the trend in jobless claims continues to go down. Uh, if it does, maybe that'll uh, spike us up to the top of that range. What the bulls are going to be able to do once we get up to 63, though, remains to be seen. Um, as far as the daily chart is concerned, just very briefly before we do support and resistance, uh, the bears, again, were able to take out the prior day's low. They need to keep doing that as we head down to a test of the 20-day exponential moving average on the daily chart. So look for that. Are the bears able to keep taking out these lows or are the bulls going to reverse that trend and turn this into the second kind of four-day pullback? We saw a little four-day pullback at the beginning of January. Is this going to be a little four, you know, three, four, five-day pullback or are we going to get into something a little more um, extended on the downside? So uh, that's something to watch as well. So the support and resistance current trade is 56 half. Let's do the upside first. Uh, you got daily pivot at 57.67, then 59 half three day pivot, 63, 66, 1369 half, which is our current high from Sunday night, then 1373, 1378, 1389. On the downside, you've got uh, 1353 uh, nine day pivot. Then 1346, 1342, which is your 20 day pivot, 1340, uh, 20 day exponential moving average there, 1336, and 1332. So, everybody uh, trading well today. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader for Mr. Top Step. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Uh, use stops and, and uh, try to be hedged as best you can. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.